developing a kind of process morphology, uh, three ways of being, uh, <coughs> the ectodermal way of being, but you could also say the antipathetic way of being, or you could say the nervous system way of being. And the other way of being, you know, metabolic way, uh, connecting, radiating, uh, sympathetic way of being. So I'm not involved in anatomy, I'm involved in morphology. And morphology is not Cartesian anatomy. As I told you, those poles, those polarities, and in particular this middle is not localized. It's not somewhere in your body. It's everywhere and nowhere. All those all polarities, all those threefoldness, it is now already appeared in seven directions. And I will simply repeat them again. And don't forget that every dimension doesn't stop at a certain moment. No, it goes on and on. And then there comes another dimension over it, and it goes yet another dimension over it, and that all is now in big, in great symphony with each other. And the first dimension was center and periphery. But in those early days, we had a periphery. We had actually a periphery body. Okay, center and periphery. And we still live with center and periphery. We still live with here I am, and there it is, you and the world. So center and periphery. Then we did dorsal ventral. It was a very important direction for our existence because forward moving and what's happening on your back, you know, dorsal ventral dimension, the ventral dimension as your sympathetic connecting, let's do the world dimension. And your back as the nervous system uh, sensing what's happening on my backside dimension. Then we had craniosacral. The head is developed against in opposition of your rooting pelvis. The pelvis is in the first uh, orientation. There where you root. There where you are sympathetic. That will be your metabolic pole. There your viscera will tend together. And your head is something opposite. Heads are opposite. Head are oppositions against the sympathetic pole. Take a heart. A heart is a head. What are the limbs? What is the metabolic part of the circulatory system? That are the capillaries. The capillaries, those 45,000 miles of blood vessels. And on the opposite, you have the heart. And what is in between? The rhythm of the arteries and the veins. So, uh, cranial caudal is the third. Uh, third representation of the way your body is polarized and don't forget always there is the middle we have seen in the beginning your body is a sphere you are a laminar body or a disc and the sphere doesn't have any direction or axis yet but then comes cranial caudal and if you wait you'll see that cranial caudal will separate or uh, yeah, come apart and then in between the rhythmic domain of abdomen and thorax came forth. So that was craniocaudal. And then we had that finger of God growing in. You know, that uh, that um, notochord, that center axis, that enormous strong impulse growing from caudal into the body. And you've seen that the body was elongated and looked like a trunk, like a tree. But that also performed the left and the right left and the right is also to be described as the polarity of antipathy and sympathy. I just indicated it. There's much more to tell about that. Look in the brain and read now. from now on your, the stories you hear about the left and the right brain in the context of sympathetic and antipathetic. The onlooker and the participator. Try to, to read your anatomy books. Because Threefoldness is in the anatomy books, yes? But you have to take the good glasses and then you can read in the anatomy books this polarity morphology, this threefoldness. Just you need new eyes, then you see it. So left and right, I should say right and left, oh, left and right. Then came, very important, because it was the moment we really were born in the sense of 
creating our own anatomical, emancipating, autonomous body that can be opposed against the environment so that we uh, gain the autonomy, let's say hardly, let's say you would, the autonomy of the animal, the animal that is growing in and shapes itself in existence that can be free from the environment or at least oppose it. You know, that was the gesture where we made an outer body wall and an inner body wall. Then came the dimension of outside and inside.